In this lesson, we will have a look at the Petty Cash Book. The specific objectives for this lesson is to explain why the Petty Cash Book is used, to record transactions in the Petty Cash Book using the impressed system and balance it, and to complete the double entry in the Cash Book and the Accounts Ledgers. Now previously we learned that cash transactions are recorded in the cash column of our cash book and transactions that affect the bank are recorded in the bank column in the cash book. But for small items we will record those transactions not in the cash book but in the petty cash book. Let's have a look at some of those small items that will be recorded in the petty cash book. The petty cash book items can be something like detergent, stationery, or sugar or tea. One of the reasons why the petty cash book is useful is because it is used to record small payments and receipts. Another reason why it's useful is because it reduces the amount of entries in the main cash book. Now let's have a look at the dual function of the petty cash book. Now, just like our cash book and our general journal is a book of first entry, the petty cash book is also a book of first entry. But in this book of first entry, we only record small transactions, which is paid with notes and coins. So in our general ledger, we will have an account for cash book and an account for petty cash. And if we were to top up our petty cash, we will credit our cash book and debit our petty cash to complete our double entry process. And this is the dual function of the petty cash book. Now we will have a look at some terms that you need to know in regards to the petty cash book. The first one is voucher. Now a voucher looks something like this. It's a document that you need to complete in order for the cash to be given out. Now let's have a look at an example and fill in our petty cash voucher. On 10 April 2018, the petty cashier S. Kanji issued $18 to Yal Hailongo for taxi fare. Now at the bottom is our petty cash voucher completed. Now as you can see, Yal Hailongo is the person that the money was paid to. 10 April is the date of the petty cash voucher. The reason for the voucher was for taxi fare, so that is what we write in the description. The amount is $18 and we put that in the space where we need to write the amount and also we write out the amount in words 18 Namibian dollars only. And then Yal Hailonga needs to sign for the money received and then also Eskandi needs to approve the money that was issued. The other term we need to know is the impressed amount. Now the impressed amount refers to a system where a fixed amount of money is maintained in the petty cash account for every month. And this fixed amount is called the impressed amount. Now let's have a look at an example so we can understand this better. Say our impressed amount at the beginning of the month is $300 and we incur the following transactions during the month and the total of that transactions is $200. So our impressed amount is $300. We will decrease our expenses of $200 which means that we have $100 left in our petty cash. Now in order to return the petty cash to its impressed amount, we will need to restore the petty cash with $200 which is the same as the expenses incurred during the month and that will restore the petty cash back to the $300 just like it was at the beginning of the month. 
Now there are various accounts of our petty cash book. We have stationery, we have postage, we have traveling expenses, we have cleaning materials, we have sundry expenses and then also we have sundry accounts. Now when recording transactions in our petty cash book, we need to record the transactions under these different types of accounts. Now let's go ahead and look at an example and record transactions in our petty cash book.